Until recently, I was under the impression that I had talked about this in one of my previous videos about Yennefer, but apparently I never did. So let me quickly address it here. You should have dressed warmer. <laughs> Next you'll be pinning mittens to my coat. There is an NPC in Lofoten, which in my opinion is quite easy to miss. And there might even be a little more to him than it seems initially. As you enter the village, looking for Ciri, you are likely headed to the center where Yennefer interrupts the ceremony. And you might overlook the fact that you can actually talk to this man over here, who is repairing the fence. The cutscene and the conversation becomes available only if you enter the village with Yennefer during the quest and it becomes unavailable when you start the quest in Freya's garden. So it's a rather narrow window. Greetings. Can we talk? I fought as much as anyone. What was that? Said I, Sauron the Elder, fought as much as the rest. Only survived because the blow missed me organs. We're looking for a young woman. Ashen hair, green eyes. Was she here? Our lads would return from the continent with captive wenches. I took no interest in them. At my age, one woman under my roof is too much already. No. Siri'd never let herself be taken. Oh, you don't know our lads. And you don't know Siri. Little irritable, aren't you? Who wouldn't be? Folk come from around and about to gape. See what's happened. Oh, look at me, cockeyed too. They didn't kill you. Buried three sons, but you're still alive? I explain and explain, but I am weary on it. Next raid, I sail with the Larvik lads. Show them what I'm made of. Aren't you a little old for a raid? Old? I'll never be too old to spill Nordling blood. Or die an honorable death at their hands. Farewell. Freya, watch over you. Additionally, this man has a bit of ambient dialogue, which often overlaps with other nearby NPCs. And what if Craven told the truth? They lie. What if he didn't abandon us? And but was Stop! <sighs> I won't speak of perhaps. He was our brother. And... But here it is. To Grit, Hannah, they barely sprouted whiskers. Yet in the grind they lie, and me, living and unharmed. <sighs> Perhaps twere written in the stars. Now, I told you that I think there's a bit more to him because I've theorized that he is the same person whom you can see teaching his son to shoot. This is while playing with Siri in Skjall's story. What's this? Did you undress me? Nay, nay, th that was Mom and Sis. There are two small events that take place here. The first is as you walk towards the sauna with Astrid. Not like that. Keep your elbow up or your arrow will go astray. I know, but my arm hurts. Good. Means your muscles are working. And mind the string don't catch on your nose. Pa! I know! And the second is on your way back. Storms are coming. Gotta go to your mum. Tell her to take the wash down. You keep practicing. Aye. If your fingers tire, grip the string with... No need. They won't tire. Arika, storm's coming. Take the wash down. I can see that. Might be old, but I'm not blind yet. Hey, now, what's this about being old? It's a fact. I'm old, as are you. Come sit with me. And the storm? We've time. Now I gotta tell you, I did take a closer look, and this man does not have the same model as the one you talked to with Yennefer. So perhaps this disproves my theory, however I still think it's a rather good match otherwise. You meet an old man who is teaching his son to shoot, right before the attack where nearly everyone dies, and then you meet another old man, basically at the same spot, who talks about the loss of his young sons, 
and how unlikely it was that he survived. So, who knows? Um, I definitely thought it's the same person initially, but I can't be sure. Tell me what you think about all this. And while on the topic of Ciri and her escape from the Wild Hunt, I suppose there's another thing that I can mention here, while I have your attention. It's likely a bug, but it can surprise you if you stumble upon it. You know how as you ride towards the drowned dead rock, there are hounds of the Wild Hunt spawning all the time from various locations and chasing after Ciri? Well, one such location is still active for some reason. It's right around here. Um, I don't think it's intentional because the area is inhabited by wolves to begin with. But regardless, if you go there, the hounds will start spawning, coming out of portals. They will kill the local wolves first, and then a minute or so after you kill them, the portals will open once again and they will respawn, and this goes on and on. I don't really have a good explanation for it. Let me know if you've encountered this, and perhaps if there are any other places like this with wild hunt portals, possibly around Lofoten. And that's all I had for you today. Thank you very much for watching, thank you for your support, and I leave you with a couple more ambient dialogues from series gameplay. See Snorri strutting around in finery, gleaming with gold that one. Had to squint from the glare. They say he means to ask Jorin for her hand today. Her hand's all I'll get. Not a one don't know she's only got eyes for Rocker. Snorri's not dressed up for Jorin. It's her father he aims to impress. Riches be the first and only thing the man looks for in a son-in-law. When do you go? Next, new moon. I'd rather you stayed. You daft woman. What would I say to me mates? Maybe that your wife's with child? <laughs>